everyone, I am Eloquent, and welcome back to EverQuest on the P99 servers. Um, this is my druid again. I'm going to be doing Junits tonight. So, um, if you don't know, Junits are in uh, the Awakening Land, and they're in a cave, kind of, as you poured in, if you kind of go out the... Um, the little doorway there. They're kind of straight ahead along that wall and then to the left. So this is kind of right at the beginning of the entrance. There's kind of like a rock and that's kind of behind me. Uh, right now I'm asking, there's a cleric that's just kind of sitting there and I just wanted to talk to the cleric and make sure that they weren't camping this because uh, this has become a highly contested area now that the sea furies have uh, changed their loot tables. So there's a lot of people that are coming here now to, just to camp these for the loot. So basically uh, what I do is I group out them. Uh, I think that you could probably be able to do this, especially at my level, without the epic. But I use the epic quite a bit. Um, as we go through, I'll describe the spells that I'm, I'm using. So first off, because this one's single, I'm going to... I uh, hit it with Root, the Entrapping Roots. It's my highest level Root, so I don't get as many breaks. And... Actually, I think now that I think about it, I didn't take the single. I went over and I hit the the dual camp because... I was still, I hadn't gotten a response back, and I just didn't want to take it out from under the person. So, since this is a double, I'm going to Harmony the Shaman, and then I'm going to pull the one behind. And since I'm pulling, because I want to pull it away, because the Shaman's just Harmonied, I hit it with my Epic, or you could hit it with a Snare. So I'm going to pull this away back up and let it get out of aggro range. And then once it's out of aggro range, then I'm going to hit it with the root. I accidentally tried hitting it with the epic again. And now that it's rooted, I'm just going to hit it with some dots. Uh, the first dot I usually hit it with is wing death which is my highest magic based dot. Uh, and then after that I usually hit it with Breath of Row, which is my highest fire based dot. And then here depending on how I want how fast I want it to die, I either hit it with Drifting Death or with my clicky drones of doom. A lot of this has a lot to do with uh, mana management. Um, the reason that it's such good experience is because I can kind of almost just turn through these one after the other. And being able to do that, you have to make sure that you just don't hit it with everything you have. Um, especially with the engorging roots that I have, they kind of sit for... they'll break usually at the end. Uh, but Breaks are kind of rare, and so you've got time to just let it go. And so, I mean, I guess it's all—it all depends on how you want to look at it. Either you can go and, you know, load into it and fill it with all the dots that you have, and then sit while well, sit and meditate, or you can sit there and, you know, throw it through just a couple of dots, and then. Uh, let it slowly die. And I usually go slowly because after I get it worked down in such a way I can usually juggle two or three of them uh, depending on whether or not they're shamans. The shamans hit really hard. Uh, later in the video I'll do a shaman but uh, you gotta stay out of line of sight and they can be kind of a pain. So as you can see, the, the, the root broke. Uh, usually the 
spell cycle that I go on is once wing death drops, I'll hit it with wing drop death again. I usually don't redo the uh, the breath of row unless it's a shaman, and uh, you know as soon as wing death's done, then I know that the drones of dooms is about up, and so I usually hit the clicky right away, even though it's not completely done because um, I'm not really worried about mana efficiency. I just want to make sure that 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 tick is always going, and I have it timed out so that I know that usually every second time that I have to refresh the dots, I should also refresh the epic. I, it's not an exact thing, but and sometimes I do it a little bit earlier, especially if I'm uh, I'm pulling with the epic. And then as it gets down to like the last 20%, I always just do clickies. Uh, as you can see, I'm in wolf form, and this is the form of the howler, so I get a little bit of mana regen from this. And for the most part, I'm just sitting. The only time I stand up is to cast another spell. And like I said, it's always trying to you know keep my mana up to gain mana. Once I get into this stage where I'm just hitting it with clickies, Basically all I'm doing is I'm just trying to uh, regain my mana for the next one. He's about dead. I think that I'm going to hit him one last time with uh, Drones of Dune just to make sure that nothing uh, nothing runs out and he still has a dot on him. down. And the gems I got from that weren't super great. It seems like a lot of times the uh, it's either feast or famine with the gems. Either they're uh, they're really good or there's nothing on them. And so for this one, since it was a single, um, I didn't catch it on camera, but um, I hit these with Root right away, and then I hit them with my Epic. And then this one, I think because I'm trying to gear up for the Shaman over there, I hit it with just Wing Death, and then I hit it with uh, my Clicky. And the reason for that is because uh, as I was waiting to take this on, I threw a bunch of junk buffs on because uh, the shamans like to dispel and uh, they have a really mean uh, cold-based DD. So I went through and I, I buffed up a little bit beforehand and now I'm going to kill this one but I'm going to do it in, you know, the most mana efficient way possible so that as soon as this one's down, I can go right in for the shaman. And that also helps try to keep that camp, that two spot broken up a little bit. Because it's especially nice if you can go and just one right after the other, keep rolling through them. But when you have a two, uh, two camp like that, you have to make sure that it's broken up so that they don't aggro each other. I'm going to try at the end of the video to kind of run through the cave and show all the spots that I like to set. spots become popular now that 
sea furies aren't as uh, good anymore. The loot tables aren't as good. So I think while I was recording this video, there must have been two, two or three enchanters that were here or ran through here. Uh, I believe that there were a couple of shamans that were here. So before I went on break, because it was right before that that they changed the loot table, um, this place was always just empty, like no one was here. And since then it's become super busy at on, on uh, peak time. So as you can see for this one, the roots broke, but it's still snared, and it's underneath enough of the uh, enough health that it's trying to run. So it's just sitting there. So I'm not even going to bother uh, rerooting it. I wasn't quite paying attention, but I think probably through most of this I've kept my mana level at least up to where it was, if not maybe gotten a few extra percent going through this. A little bit later I'll, I'll go and fight one and pretty much only use my clicky, and uh, when I do that, like, it's actually me kind of metting through it and I end up gaining mana for the next one and I still have one that's kind of actively going down yeah and as you can see that it had nothing on it So here I'm rebuffing. Uh, I usually like to put like resist magic and resist potion up kind of high so that they're first on the dispel list, and then kind of down low is my nature skin and my uh, circle of summer. Uh, here I only did the circle of summer because, like I said, it's a it's a cold based direct damage. And so for this one, I'm I'm hitting it with my epic to try to pull it away so that it uh, it doesn't sit there and rot while uh, the other one might come on, uh, respawn and aggro. And for the most part, I resist most of this, and this is I don't even have my resist gear on. this one just because I like to get the shamans over with as quick as possible. I hit it with, with everything. I, I do the wing death. I'm doing the breath of row here. And then uh, right after that I'm going to do drifting death. And so these things go down pretty quick. And then as soon as I hit that I go and get out of line of sight. Now that I'm out of line of sight he can't cast on me anymore. At this point, I'm just waiting for the uh, the message saying that my dots run its course, and then once I get that, I'll sneak back out, redot them up. And then once all the dots are back on, I go and get back out of line of sight. Now, because he has dots and he has pretty good DDs. I make sure I always have regen up and 
Yeah, see, there was a dispel. But I don't think it got anything. And I always make sure that I have a heal up. Because, uh, sometimes you, you need to get healed and they do quite a bit of damage. So here it was really inefficient the way that I did the uh, the dots, but like I said, I just wanted to get it down quick. And then after this, I'm gonna have to sit and med for a little bit. That's alright because uh, that camp's broken. And so now this is me. I sped this up. Uh, I'm just uh, kind of medding through this one. So I just sit here and I did one wing death, and then after that I just kept hitting it with uh, Drones of Doom over and over and over again. And then every second one I re-hit it with the, the epic. And then there's a root break, so I re-rotted it. Rooted it. And then we're back, just as it dies. Alright, so this one, um, there's one that spawns here, and then the two that spawn here. So then if you go down past this, the other place that I like to sit if this place is taken is back over here because you can sit kind of back over where they're sitting right there and then there's a spawn right on the corner there and then there's one right across here and if you come all the way back and straight across see that's probably an enchanter duo um, there's one there, there's one over by this rock on the right and then these like there's just a lot around here and there's not good places to stand so I usually go all the way past all this all the way back like I said crazy busy especially with enchanters uh, back in here now in that little room there was two that sit over there and then there's three that sit kind of where I was facing right there and so those are kind of the spots that I like because there's there's only one or two so you only have to harmony a couple obviously when you have an enchanter it's it's a little bit different because you're looking for pairs at that point point. Yeah, and there's another one that just showed up so yeah, that's the video of uh, me root rotting Jonats. Uh, it's really great experience after probably about 56. You probably want your epic, but uh, you could probably do it without it. So uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next video.